Welcome to the MTW Show. My name is Morty and this is my twisted world. This is show number six, folks. Enjoy. To start things off, I would like to first thank all of you for coming. Throughout the show, feel free to chat and I will watch and respond to your comments. Check out my teeth. My teeth have teeth. How cool is that? La 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 sing a ding ring ring. Now I'm just getting all twisted. Time to get on with the show. Show number six, folks. Here we go. Oh. 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 What's up, everybody? Oh. Oh. God damn it. Oh, fuck. My computer's locking up on me. This is just fucking awesome. No goddamn way. There we go. Hey, we've got life. Sorry, everybody. Um, typical start of the goddamn show. Let's bring in the chump. And... Fuck! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Everything's dialed and then it all goes to shit. As always. Awesome. Hey guys. Let's try this all over again. Can we redo? I don't think so. Yeah, we can redo. Alright, everybody. It's never gonna go smooth around here. This is just the way it fucking goes. Alright, it's uh, September 11th, 2008. Um, seven years after Bastards hit our Twin Towers. So, to all those people, in remembrance, freaky day. Uh, various people around the world felt that one a little different. Um, I know I was more worried at the time because I was working in downtown L.A., yet strangely felt so disconnected, being that it was in New York. It kind of feels like another part of the world to me, but I don't news care about me. much, so that's kind of my own flaw. Yeah, <laughs> news to you, huh? <laughs> um, let me get the damn box off of the chump there. Yeah, I just yeah. derailed my ass as usual. So, how we doing, chump? How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Not bad. Awesome. Now that things are actually running. Yes. Sporting the gigposters.com hat there. That's your website. Yes. Sir. yes. Uh, for those that have gone back and watched the clip of last week, um, as even more messed up trying to do that show, I was way off. But that show turned out fairly well as far as um, showing the gig posters cards. At least happy with how they visually looked. Um, anything new going on? Anything at all up there in Canada? Uh, let's see. Your little kitty cat got a new toy. <laughs> kitty cat got a new toy. Uh, I gotta say, if there's any MMA fans out there, did you watch the last UFC? Because it was mind blowing. Uh, that's the most yeah, exciting thing that happened to me this that. week. Shot Evans knocked out Chuck Liddell with one. Unbelievable. It was great. Did you end up yeah. going back and watching The Fringe? No. I know yeah. people were talking about it on your website. I was kind of disappointed with that. I don't know how many of you actually went and uh, went. Like you went somewhere other than to your couch. The Fringe was on earlier this week. I was really counting on that show. Uh, I don't know, being more than it was. Some people loved it. Um, I was reading a thread over on the Chump site over at gigposters.com. A lot of people loved it. A lot of people thought it was, eh, whatever. I was kind of hoping it's going to be the next uh, X-Files. But we'll see. This, that was just episode one. They always got to put in all this garbage just to try to give you the history behind it so they could roll forward. Um, oh, yeah, Will Rikers hasn't watched it yet, but he's saying he's got it downloaded. Mm. Um, what else we got going on today? Uh, oh, 
let's start off like we always do with a quality jib jab that um, uh, Will's got set up for us here. Let me see if I could get this damn thing to work. Do 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 do. Probably not. Let's not expect a whole lot from Morty today. Yeah, that one got deleted by accident. Went on. My computer started crashing. So for those that are wondering how the hell I do this, I actually have to drag shit around the screen and do snapshots. If I'm on top of my game, it runs smooth. When I'm not, it's total crap, and I stand here and fumble and do it live for you folks. Uh, it's not your fault. Yeah, good old computers. Gotta love them. So here's the jib jab, jibjab.com. Uh, if you haven't been on that site, you gotta check it out. It's awesome. And Will always puts together there's something awesome on there for us. Jib jab! Thank you, Will, as always. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that one cracked me up. I actually didn't get a chance to play that last week like I wanted to, but the beauty of those things, you can play them at any time and over and over. Uh, uh, that's for all my fans out there. Uh, so, check out Jib Jab. Awesome stuff. If any of you put together anything really cool to share, make sure you send me a link. Either email me or send it uh, via private message to MTW. Speaking of which, did you see what uh, Will was writing there in your chat? No, what's Will got going? Uh, he's saying that he's not going to be on the show tonight. And, I don't know, I was thinking he might show up for a guest appearance or something. Oh, yeah. Well, he just doesn't realize he's not on the show. Yeah, Let's I mean, show. we can't do a show without him. No, no, no. you got to have Will in the show. So let's see what Will's got to say tonight. Let's see if I could get this to freaking work. Doo -doo -doo. My name is Will Riker oh, and oh. I live in the UK. I love this site and get a little upset when you don't contribute. So make me happy and do something on this site. I love you, Morty. I really do. You make my testicles twitch and jump. Hopefully none of the Americans understand this, as I'm speaking English. Hi Jezza. Hi Dragon. Can you see me on cam? I should really go now as it is past my bedtime. Cheerio and see you later, motherfuckers. Thank you, Will Riker, for the two cents yeah. right there. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate it. Yes, yes. Uh, that was awesome. <laughs> It is kind of freaky, I agree. Um, but here we go. We'll keep Will Riker on the shelf for a little bit. He'll be in the top window. <laughs> That's a bitchin' thing Chump found and slapped that thing together. Along with the intro. Yeah, rules. Uh, good shit, good shit. Uh, that, I love this stuff. <laughs> so... Chump did some awesome work this week. He put together this little thing with Will Riker. And then he forwarded me this uh, news article. I don't know how much you read, like, odd news and whatnot. But this one article is just freaking awesome. It's from the Fresno Bee, uh, FresnoBee.com. They got a news article earlier this week. And it's titled, Burglar Victims Wake to Spice Rub Sausage Attack. I don't know if this was some deranged homosexual or whatever. Yeah, Chump remembers this one. I mean, the first two paragraphs, I'm not going to so read the good. whole thing. But it's one of those things that's like, okay, this is total bullshit. No way this article is real. But 
The Fresno Bee is an actual newspaper. It's not like The Onion where they make up BS shit and kind of tie in real stuff. Yeah, so here we go. A burglar who broke into a home just east of Fresno. Wait a minute. Mommy Salami is from Fresno, isn't she? Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, a burglar who broke into a home just east of Fresno rubbed food seasoning over the body of one or two men as they slept in their rooms and then used an 8-inch sausage to whack the other man on the face and head before running out of the house, Fresno County Sheriff's deputy said Saturday. Lieutenant Ian Buramon, describing the crime as one of the strangest he's ever heard of, said a sp- uh, said bleh said a suspect was found hiding in a nearby field a few minutes later and taken into custody on suspicion of residential robbery. Deputies, he said, had no problem linking the suspect to the crime. It seems the guy ran out of the house wearing only a t-shirt, boxer shorts, and socks, leaving behind his wallet with his ID. Arrested was Antonio Vasquez Jr., 21 years of age, from Fresno. Bierman said... Deputies headed to the victim, victim's home in the 300 block of South Thompson Avenue blah, 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 at 8 a.m. regarding a burglary in progress. The victims, both farm workers, told deputies they were awakened by a stranger applying <laughs> pappy seasoning to one of them and striking the other with a sausage. Both the spices <laughs> and the sausage... <laughs> but, but, both the spices... Both the spices and the sausage reportedly were obtained from the victim's kitchen. After the men (laughs) fled, the victims discovered the home had been ransacked and that some money was taken. The officer said the money was recovered, but that the piece of sausage used in the attack was discarded by the suspect and eaten by a dog. That's right. (laughs) The dog ate the weapon. I tell you, this is one weird case. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe these two farm workers were possibly gay, kind of with a story of how they were saying they'll lay together. But at the same time, I do know that a lot of these farm workers, uh, they're low income, so they do live in minimal space. So there'll be like four people in a one-bedroom unit kind of thing, and yeah, they do have to share beds or whatever. It's not necessarily always gay, but... Uh, this guy iron that goes dog. breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Iron Dog. He applies the seasoning, the spice rub. Oh, shit. Um, oh, that's funny. I, I mean, what the fuck is going on with this world? Not to mention, how the hell do you, with a straight face, when the police say, okay, tell me what exactly happened here. You say, well, my partner here, or my buddy, he woke up with salt and seasoning in his, on all over his back, and I woke up to some dude slapping me around with a sausage. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I don't know if this is someone that Mommy Salami hung out with there in Fresno or whatever, but, oh uh, yeah, that's bitching. Will Riker, for those reading, I can just picture him in a t-shirt and boxers rubbing seasoning on people. If you got Iron Dog standing over your bed in the middle of the night, the fucker's like <laughs> six five, I think. I forget how tall that. Oh shit! Is. Look who I just wish he was in here. Oh, oh wait! Iron Dog is entered. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Rewind. Iron Dog. You. We we know the story. <laughs> First off, I gotta make sure he hears me. Iron Dog, do you hear us? You got the audio going. You hear us, okay? Oh Please yeah. Respond. My ears were burning. Okay, so you hear me loud and clear, right? Thumbs up? Type yes? Okay. I'm going to reread this article real quick. Everybody strangely thinks it's you. The name of the article, this is from the Fresno Bee, is Burglar Victims Wake to Spice Rub Sausage Attack. A burglar who broke into a home just east of Fresno robbed, uh, excuse me, A burglar who broke into a home just east of Fresno rubbed food seasoning over the body of one of two men as they slept in their rooms and then used an 8-inch sausage to whack the other man on the face and head before running out of the house, Fresno County Sheriff's deputy said Saturday. 
Uh, the lieutenant describing the crime as one of the strangest he's ever heard of said a suspect was hiding in a nearby field a few minutes later and taken into custody on suspicion of residential robbery. Deputies, he said, had no problem linking the suspect to the crime. It seems the guy ran out of the house wearing only a t-shirt, boxer shorts, and socks, leaving behind his wallet with his ID. Um, the deputies headed to the victim's home in the 300 block in regards to, I'm summarizing here, in regards to a burglary in progress. The victims, both farm workers, told deputies they were awakened by Iron Dog as he was applying pappy seasoning to one of them and striking the other with a sausage. Both the spices and the sausage reportedly were obtained from the victim's kitchen. After, the, after Iron Dog fled, the victims discovered the home had been ransacked and that some money was taken. The officer said the money was recovered, but that the piece of sausage used in the attack was discarded by the suspect and eaten by a dog. That's right, the dog ate the weapon. Why is it everybody thought Iron Dog <laughs> when I read this article? <laughs> oh, shit. Good old Iron Dog. We miss you, man. we got to see you around here more, especially during the shows. Uh, maybe I could try to get you in on one of these shows. Ah, excuse me. All righty. <clears throat> go, go, juice. So, yeah, that was a Fresno B adding content to our show today. Uh, good stuff. All right, on to other things. Um... We haven't had a whole lot of you adding much for the various questions or whatever for the Ask Morty, and I didn't get a chance to get to it last week. And if I could get the web page to load with all this broadcasting, Morty, say Cheyenne. Oh, I assume somebody's listening in your house. Cheyenne! I know Cheyenne. Is that a little loud? Cheyenne? Cheyenne. Cheyenne or Cheyenne? She doesn't think you are alive. I am live. Look. I'm alive. Playing golf. We gotta set something up, you bastard. I gotta get into that golf again. Alright. So. <laughs> Iron Dog. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the iPhone. It rolleth. <laughs> L map. What the hell's L map? L map. Huh? Did, did I make a spelling mistake? No, I wasn't reading your thing. I think, oh. um. Mommy was trying to do. laughing my ass off. Um. So, back to Ask Morty. One of the things that Maximal asked was, why do men have hair on their ass? And someone witched the keys. They switched the keys with my fingers. Um, Maximal was asking, why do we have hair on our asses? Mm. Meaning, I mean, women have like a peach fuzz, but typically, ow. Damn it, audio jack in my back. Okay, sorry. Back to the show. Thought you liked it Why do we have hair on our asses? <laughs> Say what? I thought you liked it jacked in the sausage. back. Yes, I like large eight-inch sausages beat over my head. Um, yes, to catch the butt nuggets. So, I was doing all sorts of random thinking on this one. Um, any thoughts right off the bat, Chump, as to why men have hair on their asses? Well, I look at it kind of like Fimbre, or like, uh, you know, the little feeler things in your lungs, or... What? It is, but, um... Something's... We're okay. losing you on audio. Really? Did you, Hello? Yeah. Hello. You're there now. You're just cutting in and out. I don't know if you're cutting for anyone else. Uh, I was saying, um, I think of it as, like in your lungs and in your I don't know shit the little <laughs> hairs in your nose like the hairs okay. in your nose are there are there to catch shit 
Oh, okay. Shit, Jeez, that's where I'm going shit with, with corn kernels and tomatoes, but <laughs> well, I don't, I don't prevent catch that stuff in my from nose. entering. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so yes. anyway, I think it's there to help keep the shit off your ass. Gotcha. Yeah, I was, I was actually reading around on the internet on various things. Couldn't get a, a real definite answer. Because um, it's one of those things... Men have hairy asses, or not all men, but uh, as far as I know, most most men have hairy asses, and women typically don't. So if it's an evolution thing, is it because women always sit on their ass and have worn the hair off over no, no, the no, years? No, no, no. <laughs> e- evolution, evolution states that if, if you rub the hair enough over the millenniums, it, it just won't grow there anymore. So obviously, all the anal sex with women over the years gone. It's gone. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't think that fits. <laughs> um, fuck you, Iron Dog. No distractions. That's too easy. Um, yeah, no, no, I was I looking around. Some of them, I was, I was thinking it's more. But see, I don't know, humans haven't been around long enough. But I was thinking it had something to do with typically the men are were the hunters way back in the day or whatever. And like you said, as far as the protection, they're running around through the bushes hunting whatever freaking animals or whatever. And they need the protection. But that still didn't make sense just because humans really haven't been along, around long enough. I think for that evolution, evolution from women typically having bald asses to men having hairy asses. Um, I'm thinking it has more to do with acting as um, a way to keep your butt cheeks apart from each other since men typically sweat. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. There's Iron Dog. Picture I took of him. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yes. Um, I think it's because men mainly sweat a hell of a lot more than women do. Uh, women perspire. Um, and I think it, it, even though hairs are very tiny or whatever, I think they do allow some means of air to move around between your ass cheeks. Yeah, there we go. I think it's not so much to... It probably is a little bit of protection, but um, I think it's more of just ventilation since men tend to sweat more. One thing I did read that I thought was kind of interesting, that the hair is actually purposely there, so that when you do take a shit, you technically leave a residue behind. And it's like how a lot of animals, especially the male dogs, they mark their territory everywhere they go. And it's kind of like having that pheromones and the scent. And... I think it has something to do with the breeding or whatever, just so women can smell the men coming from a mile away. Um, oh, <laughs> shit. What are you showing us? Well, he's, <laughs> That's just wrong. Just check it out. <laughs> is this the... Is this the homosexual Michelangelo with the two fingers coming across? <laughs> oh, I didn't just do that, did I? Oh, hey, no, no, that, that's... That's the parenting. <laughs> that has nothing to do. <laughs> she needs to watch what's on TV. She should know better than to have the kids watching this show. Uh, <laughs> she's going to go in the other room and the kids are... <laughs> it really didn't fingers show anything, in each other's to be <laughs> Oh, man, yes. The sausage is lost. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, talk, you're, there's the distraction of Morty. But I, after everything I was reading and all my brainstorming and whatnot, I broke it down to the sweat and actually maintaining a scent. And whether that's the scent is so your shit actually sticks to your fur, and then that way the female species can kind of smell your scent, and the guy with a smellier ass is the more dominant. Um, animal. Uh, so Iron Dog, I guess, would win that. He's got the stinkiest ass. Six foot five of ass. Uh, <laughs> Morty's brainstorming <laughs> equals massive fart attack. 
Um, but it's either the sweat, is what I broke it down to, is collects on the ass, and by having the hairs there, you can actually have a draft going between your butt cheeks, which would put that odor out into the air for the female species. We all know Mommy Salami loves a stinky ass. Um, I don't know about shit attracting the females, but... Yeah, see, I don't think it's... I don't know, may, but see, then maybe it is the sweat. I think it really has something to do with the odor, and the women, they... They co typically it's like six women to one or six female of an am animal to the one male, and the Can different males they the stand out by. We evolved from like apes or whatever, and they're all hairy. And women are baboons. They got the bald asses. <laughs> I'm saying the us men rubbed the hair off our women over the years, and they've evolved to not have as much hair. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Getting too scientific, I guess, on this one. Making me think too hard. <laughs> um, so that's that one. Um, I thought Morty can answer the question. Being a poop expert, why when I go... Okay, this one's Purple Dragons. Okay, today I went to the loo. I went to the loo with a bag on my head. <laughs> and thought... And thought Morty could answer this question. Being a poop expert, why when I go to the loo, is there always poop stuck to the back of a bowl? Can men not hit the pot? It looks awful. Uh, no, they're hitting the pot just fine, or you wouldn't see it there. I personally sit upright when I take a shit, but I have a feeling whoever's in the loo... With you, they're leaning forward. Thus, the anus is tilting more at an angle. Um, maybe it's your cooking. <laughs> maybe you're giving them the royal ass rockets flying out. Um, but I do. I notice that at work. And yeah, it is kind of gross. When you see the, the brown blast across the back of the toilet. I love the way you say... Yes. Oh, God. Yeah, this is the webcam in Chump's bathroom right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. Too many tacos. Yes. Taco, taco. So, it's either my brother's ass or my stepdad's. Gotcha. Yeah, so, whose food are they eating, though, Will? Who's the chef that's creating the ass blasting? In the loo. Loo. Type faster, Will Riker, goddammit. We'll find then, don't type faster. Yeah, Will, you're right. Yuck, chump. Dragon, you should have never asked. Well, that's the beauty of it. You stir shit up, add some content for the show, and then you get a nice stick jabbing in the back for it. It's our way of saying thank you. So. Ow, uh, headphones starting to hurt. The shoulder itchy. Alrighty, so. Uh, asawa, asawa? The shoulder itchy. <laughs> I just noticed what the hell I was looking at there. Like, uh, oh, by the way. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't even do it. Ah, uh, damn it. Fuck it. For those who aren't sure what the fuck we're doing, his little hand was right there. Okay. I never can do this. Right Watch it on the cams. replay. Watch it on the replay, and the cam doesn't cross. Oh well. All right, so that's it for the Ask Morty thing. Nobody's added. Please add if you got some whacked out questions. Please share. We would greatly appreciate it. Um, what else we got? What was the other thing I wanted to toss out there? Oh, we got Will Riker's movie review. Yes, yes. And here we go. And where the fuck is it? There it is. Look at this, Alex. Watch out!
We found it, Professor. It's the tomb of the Dragon Emperor and his army. This is incredible. 2,000 years ago, China's Dragon Emperor conquered half the world. Now, he is returning to finish the job. Here we go again. Yeah, pump your mother. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to review the mummy, tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Now, first of all, I have to say that I liked the mummy and the mummy returns. Weren't great Oscar winning movies, but they were alright. Lots of action, decent special effects, good story, blah blah blah. So when they said they would make another mummy, I thought, oh, yeah, it might be interesting. I like Brendan Fraser, and it could be okay. So, let's see if we can count the ways that this movie actually sucked. Well, I would try to count the ways that the movie sucked, but I really don't believe I could count that high. First things first would be that Rachel Weiss isn't in the movie this time round, playing Brendan Fraser's wife. Um, she obviously read the script and thought better of it and decided to opt out. So we have an American in Maria Bello playing the part who falls prey to the American sort of stereotype that they think everyone in England speaks with an upper class clipped British accent. Rather, what? Right. Which couldn't be further from the truth. And even then, I, I doubt that she's ever actually heard of England, far less an English voice, because it was just so bad. Hello. It was excruciating. Brendan Fraser looked like he was just plodding through. There goes an email. Alert. Uh, he was just plodding through the movie. Pick up his paycheck, I think, because it, it, it's a sequel for sequel's sake. You've got Brendan Fraser, who looks like he doesn't want to be there, an American playing a British person who can't. There's zero chemistry between the two. Jet Lee does what Jet Lee does best, which is basically oh, oh, oh. Asian and kick ass. Now, the biggest fall down for me with this movie is the, the premise. It's under the banner of The Mummy because it's the third in the series. But if I say to you, Mummy, what what immediately springs to mind? It's Egypt, it's mummified, it's bandages, Abbott and Costello, Frankenstein, that type of mummy. This is set in China where it's some Chinese emperor who had a curse put on him by a witch and he died as a result of this curse and if he ever came back to life he would be immortal. Yeah. We're all in a world of shit. And it was just very naff story. It wasn't really a mummy in, in the true sense of the word. Part of how the mummy came back to life made zero sense to me because if this witch put the curse on him and, and his army so they all died and could, you know she, she was pissed off at them so she killed them then all of a sudden there's this device which if a drop of blood from the virtuous is dropped into it'll bring him back to life. Well, my question is, who the fuck made this device? Because before the curse was put on the uh, so-called Dragon Emperor, he didn't know he was going to be cursed, and the witch wouldn't have made it, surely, because she was the one that wanted him cursed and dead in the first place. So it was basically a plot device thrown in to bring the mummy back to life, um, the Emperor back to life, and it was just shit. CGI, I think, plays a major part in movies these days, and when it's done well, in my opinion, CGI is done well when you watch a movie and it doesn't leap out at you that it's CGI. You can watch it, you know they've obviously used effects because it's something fantastic they couldn't possibly have filmed, but good CGI should be used, should push the story forward, and not stand out like a, like a sore thumb as being CGI and, and, and ruin the movie. And this movie had a lot of that. It was blatantly obvious it was CGI'd. It wasn't good CGI. It, it stuck out like a sore thumb and overall the entire movie sucked. I'll tell you how bad it sucked. I can watch anything. I've watched a lot of shit. I sat through a movie once called The Killer Tongue that was one of the biggest piles of crap ever made. I fell asleep watching The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, and that never happens. I, I don't fall asleep watching TV or watching DVDs as a rule. 
and I dozed off about 40, 45 minutes into it. So that'll give you some indication as to how riveting this movie is. Lots of action scenes, lots of kick-ass, lots of knife fights, but if you've got the attention span of, of more than a flea, or, or uh. it's just not going to hold you, it's bad. Oh, did I mention the Yetis? Yes, well, um, you'll see that in a bit of the trailer, I suppose. Um, so there you go. My recommendation is is don't watch it. Don't pay to go see it. If you're thinking about going to see it, as I read this quote somewhere online, you'd be better off actually burning your money and watching it burn, because that would be less painful than spending it on this heap of crap. So, thumbs down, zero rating, forget about it. And now, back to Molly. Uh. Ah, oh, yes, back to Morty. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Will Riker, for the movie review. If anybody else wants to do any reviews, uh, Iron Dog want to give a review on his descent of his ass crack, or anything like that, we would greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, so, I think it was a good show overall. I think we had fun. Uh, it was good to have a couple people in here today. It was awesome to see Iron Dog part of this. I believe this is the first show he was able to watch. Um, it's always fun having you in there. And everybody else, obviously, thank you for showing up. And Chump, for being the co-host, much appreciated. It helps to keep pleasure. my flow going if I got someone to respond. Um, uh-oh. Mommy Salami's... Little girl's got the keyboard. Watch out. There's actually going to be some... She drew a penis? <laughs> awesome. All right. So, we're going to wrap this one up for today. And I think I'm going to close it out and end it with uh, the little clip we had of Will Riker again. Just because it's so awesome for Will Riker to give a few words and talk on the show. So... Here we go. It's much appreciated. And why is it fucking it up? Go figure. And... Get up! Goddamn clip! Alright, let's try this fucker again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't fucking do a goddamn thing. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Fuck me. Let's end the show with a bang, why don't we? Goddamn idiot. My name is Will Riker and I live in the UK. I love this site and get a little upset when you don't contribute. So, make me happy, and do something on this site. I love you, Morty. I really do. You make my testicles twitch and jump. Hopefully none of the Americans understand this, as I'm speaking English. Hi, Jezza. Hi, Dragon. Can you see me on cam? I should really go now as it is past my bedtime. Cheerio and see you later, motherfuckers. Alrighty, that's it for this week. Thank you very much, everyone. Much appreciated. See you on the next one. <laughs>